Let's take a look at business-related news, but it heavily affects all of us, in fact. The Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs has revealed to Parliament that municipalities across South Africa owe Eskom 10.8 billion rand. Now, in October 2013, the amount owed to the electricity utility was 3 billion and has since increased, as you've just heard. Now, to talk to us more about this, we're joined by the CEO of Zandile Management and Debt Collector on behalf of municipalities, Mr. Figile Bili. A very good morning to you. Good Thank you morning. so much for good joining morning. us. Good morning, Ayan. How did we get to this point? I think we, we failed to take responsibility. We, we failed to put our hands on the ground and hit the ground running. Uh, I think there was a time when we took over as government. We did not know certain things, like, for example, how we run municipalities. Today in South Africa, the situation is so bad that we don't know how many users we have on each municipality billing system. I'll make an example. We've got wrongly and fraudulently people registered as indigents with our municipalities. We don't have correct billing systems. We don't have uh, correct meters. Now, today in South Africa, municipalities are owing ESCOM ten thousands of billions of rents. People think it's the municipality. It's not a municipality. The infrastructure is old. So what needs to be done, we need to go back to basics. Like we are going to, to the townships, like we are going to do, for instance, now in the Free State with Debo Homoloi, one of South African biggest gospel singers from Bethlehem, where we are going to hit the ground running, going door to door to our people and try to understand what are the challenges. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you can go out there and switch off people's electricity and think they don't want to pay. You don't know the situation on the ground. So we'll be doing a door-to-door -door campaign trying to understand why our people are not paying. Because you might come across child at home families. You might come across indigent. You might come across delinquent debtors. So that is the first point where we need to start. So just to interrupt there, we speak of the term we. It's very collective. It seems like the problem is not just the, 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 the structures or the infrastructure in municipalities. The blame may also lie with the end users, the consumers or the people at home. So there's a collective problem that's uh, contributed to by the collective people in South Africa. So does the solution also lie with all of us? It lies with all of How? us. You know what? We are bridging electricity. We are bypassing water. We are wasting electricity. You've got a house, you are registered as an indigent. At your backyard, you've got houses, you've got flats. Your son is a teacher, your daughter is a nurse. They don't pay for, you, you are registered as an indigent. That person is registered as an indigent, but you've got a use, usage of electricity. The municipality is not aware. That's why it's very important for us to hit the ground and see what are the problems. Because for ESCOM to be paid by municipalities, the community needs to pay the municipality. Now you find that municipality buy electricity for 3 million rand and they only sell electricity for 800,000. There's a 2.2 million rand loss because our people in the township have breached electricity. You understand? What I mean? Our people are not paying. Our people are wrongly registered as indigent. We, that can't happen. So for ESCOM to get their money from municipality, our people need to come to the party and say, I'm stopping stealing electricity today. I'm paying for municipal services. Because you can blame the municipal manager, you can blame the mayor. If the community don't pay, the municipality will never survive. And ESCOM will never get their money. That's why we've come up with many solutions like smart meters, vending system, and et cetera. Mm. You also mentioned something to me off air about having uh, very professional people and experienced people at the helm as well. Uh, women, I like to think, also fitting that category a lot. You've uh, called on uh, a special mention for women this Women's Month when it comes to running or heading up municipalities. Look, there's no secret. In the free state, uh, I've realized that they've got more female municipal managers than any other province. Uh, Free State is the only metro that has a female uh, municipal manager. So I strongly believe if those municipal managers are deployed in the relevant municipalities, I'm definitely sure that they will render better services and make sure that municipalities get clean audits. Okay, we'll have to leave it there for now. Mm. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time. I would have loved to find out from you what will happen if the situation doesn't change, but I have a feeling you'd be a prophet of doom if you were uh, to Thank answer you. that question. But it's not looking good at all. Collective responsibility is what's called upon you and I as the end user, and of course the municipal officials also need to have the infrastructure in place. But let's leave it there.